Hi, this is Janet from Manhattan Edit Workshop, and I would like to show you the new FrameFlex feature in Media Composer 7.0. To start with, I want to import some red footage here. So I'm right-clicking on my bin, choosing AMA link, and navigating to the .rdm files, and I'm going to go ahead and open them, and you can see they populate my bin right away. The project format in Media Composer is currently limited to high definition broadcast and distribution requirements. So if I look at the format tab in my project, I can see that the current format is 1920 by 1080. But the raster dimensions of this red footage in my bin is much larger than that. Now with the new FrameFlex tools, we can still access the full range of material within my larger raster dimensions. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my clip and I'm going to choose from the menu that pops up source settings. Source settings window opens and I'm going to make sure that frame flex is activated. And I'm going to check this box which says same size as projects raster dimensions. And what I'm going to see in the top window is a framing box that determines which part of the frame I will see in my final output. So for example, if I wanted to look at the road here, I would move my framing box down, and you can see the bottom monitor shows me what my output will be. Um, so I'm going to position this part of the frame that I would like to see, and I'm going to go ahead and hit Apply, and OK, and you can see that appears in my clip. I'm going to go ahead and cut this into my timeline and I'm seeing now just that part of the original frame. If I would like to access other parts of the frame, I can open up the effects editor and you can see the full frame appears in the effects editor and I can go ahead just by dragging around, it will add a keyframe. So if I wanted to start in the trees, for example, and end on the road, it's panning down automatically. So this is a really great new feature and promises to speed up our high definition workflow and output options. Thank you very much. This is Janet, and please look out for more tutorials from Manhattan Edit Workshop.